and welcome back. So this is going to be our third part of the three-part breathing exercises. If you're just tuning in here first and you missed the first two, don't worry. You're welcome to start here. If you want to look back over the other ones and kind of get caught up, that's fine. But there are three parts, but they're not one, two, three. They're all set in different ways, so you can do them however it really works best for you. So for those who did catch into the first two, uh, the first breathing we were working forward and back, and the second exercise we're doing left and right. So what's left? Right, up and down. We're gonna be finishing up that third dimension of up and down breathing. And in our next uh, little tutorial, we'll talk about how do you uh, put all three together. Um, but these are just more about first learning how to actually go into different uh, dimensions singularly. You know, we gotta take it baby steps to get there. And even if you've been breathing your whole life, it doesn't mean you've been breathing efficiently your whole life, right? So what we're gonna do for this is again, sitting up nice and tall, nice and comfortable. Why? It lets our, our thoracic cavity be more spacious. If we're slumping down, we don't get to breathe as deeply in. When we're nice and neutral in our spine, we have more space. Right? So. What we're going to do is have our hands and come up just gently behind our shoulders. That's it. Again, like always, we don't want to be too strong and we don't want to be too loose. Finding something in between. And then with here, we're just going to start our breath in again. So breathing in slowly. And exhaling. Again, nose is preferable, but if it's difficult on the nose, using your mouth is just a, as okay. For those watching, um, if you're not feeling any, anything yet, that's cool, take your time. If you might notice that as I breathe in, my arms lift a little higher up. My whole chest sort of expands up and down, and exhale, comes back. And I'm not, Forcing it one way or another, I'm just letting the breath allow my thoracic cavity, my abdominal cavity, my chest and my stomach to go up with the breath and down. So that's it, breathing in and breathing out. And so again, one of the, the big parts of this is just becoming comfortable with your breath, becoming comfortable with your body, moving in ways uh, that you may not have noticed. So just starting to have more awareness of what is your body doing when you do certain activities. And then you can let the hands come down. And then again, a few normal breaths. And seeing what do you notice now from before? Do you notice that as you breathe in, maybe there is more up and down now, or maybe you could feel it when you're doing this and now you don't feel it as much. There's no right or wrong answer because everyone watching this is going to be having their own experience, right? And so it's not about what should you be feeling as much as what, what are you feeling and what does that mean and how do you work with that? So it's all just about having that internal experience and starting to become more aware of that internal experience, right? So this was up and down breathing. We did it rather shortly, just like the other ones. You are welcome to go as long as, as you want. You know, sit with it for two minutes, for five minutes, for 10 minutes, just practicing this. Go back and practice the other ones. Again, just practice them one at a time, working with each dimension. So you're working with forward and back, left, right, up, down, all singularly. In the next coming days or weeks, I'm gonna to start to put some together as a way of seeing how do we then start to have this three-dimensional breath, right? Uh, and then also, what does that mean for your nervous system as well as your, your mental state of being? Uh, so I hope this is helpful for, for most of you. As usual, just um, leave comments and questions and let me know what else I can do to be more uh, of help for you in this time. Okay? Thank you.